Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of Bob's Live. And this week, we're going to be heading out into the garden for, well, the second time this spring, but it's going to be our first time actually planting something. So the last time we headed out to the garden in an episode of Bob's Live, or well, it was kind of a feature, um, we were doing some garden planning and figuring out where I was planning on planting stuff this spring. So in this episode, we're going to head out and plant some more stuff. But um, the previous episode, it kind of tied in with our podcast, the Keep Growing Podcast. And in that episode of the podcast, we were talking about garden planning. And uh, this episode is sort of a one-off sort of thing that um, is kind of by itself because right now we're in kind of a weird transition time. Um, we're just starting early spring gardening. And also this week is Green Career Week. So we had Green Career Week back in the fall. And... Um, we shared, you know, um, a little bit about uh, jobs in horticulture at local area schools. Well, this spring we've kind of expanded that and we're doing a ton of tours right now. So I've got uh, right now about two to three school tours a week coming in. And uh, yeah, that is just awesome because that's something that I love to do. And speaking of tours, here coming up pretty soon, we'll be announcing the date for our spring color tour, which always happens um, on a Saturday in April. So keep an eye out for that. Um, up first this week, I thought we would head out to my garden where, as I said, I'm planting the first crop of the year. So let's head on out to the garden. afternoon I am out here in the greenhouse where we're starting to see some of the first blooms of the season so let's get a closer look well hello here is how we water these geranium hanging baskets, which are starting to produce some really nice blooms. Uh, basically, the baskets hang from this cable system with hooks, and as they travel down the line, there's a little tab here that sticks out, and it triggers some switches back here as they come down to this end of the bay. And as they trigger a switch, there's a watering head right here. And then one down here for the lower row. And it'll pause at each basket and get watered. So it's a pretty ingenious solution because whenever a basket gets taken off, it reduces the weight on the little tab right here. So that way we're not wasting water. It's not heavy enough then you know, to trigger the switch. So that's a quick look at what's happening out here in the greenhouse. We're just starting to see some of the first little blooms of summer, but we're going to start seeing a lot of color over the coming weeks. So make sure you give us a follow, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or any other place on social media. You can find us at Bob's Market. And also, check out our website at bobsmarket.com. <laughs> um, oops, <laughs> I got the video segments. 
uh, switcheroo. <laughs> so that's what's happening in the greenhouse right now. We have some of the first blooms of spring starting to appear. And uh, yeah, we've got some geraniums that are blooming. And then further back in the back, there are some calibricos that are blooming. But something that happens with those blooms that I failed to mention in the video, is they're going to get snipped off. So with our geranium baskets and our larger calibracoa baskets, we let them grow out then we trim them and that encourages them to branch out so we get an even fuller basket. So yeah, we're seeing some early blooms now, but those blooms are going to get chopped off. Um, now let's head out to my garden to see the first crop of the spring going in. And as the title of this week's episode of Bob's Lives suggests, this is a little bit of a gamble given our current weather. So you'll see why in the video. Hi, Joel Morgan here with Bob's Marketing Greenhouses. And this morning, I am out here in my garden where I'm doing a little bit of gambling. And that gambling has to do with garlic and a term called vernalization. You might be saying, vernal what? Vernalization. Which vernal? If you think of the term vernal equinox or spring equinox, which we have coming up here in March, um, vernal means spring. And vernalization is what happens to some plants during the winter time that trigger certain phases of growth. So normally it's associated with flowering and a plant producing flowers. But in the case of something like garlic, which is what we're going to be planting today, vernalization triggers an individual garlic bulb to create multiple bulbs on the new plant the next year. So by not vernalizing these, there's a chance that these bulbs won't separate into multiple bulbs. So I'll end up with just one big single garlic bulb. No matter what happens, I still get garlic. But right now, I'm kind of taking a gamble by planting these in late February. I'm hoping that we get enough cold days that it triggers vernalization. But if we don't, I'll end up with just single large bulbs of garlic. So other than that, Planting these is just the same as planting any other type of garlic. So let's get in a little bit closer and do that now. All right, so I have my garlic bulbs prepped and ready to go. Uh, basically, I took entire bulbs of garlic and separated them into the individual cloves. And when I talk about vernalization, this is what vernalization results in, is the individual cloves of garlic. Otherwise, you end up with what looks more like an onion. Um, so planting these is just the same as planting regular garlic or onion sets or anything like that. Um, the depth and spacing is about the same. So I want to go about four inches apart. So I should end up with a little bit of a grid right here, and I think I've created enough rows, so we're going to find out. And I'm just kind of setting them in. Um, I've got some here that have already sprouted a little bit. So on a garlic bulb, you have the little basal plate here where the roots come out and then you have the top where the plant emerges from and you generally want to orient it you know roots down all right 
editing John here. When I went out to plant the garlic, I left my notes inside because it was a little bit sprinkly. Something I forgot to mention with vernalization is that we can also artificially vernalize plants. And we do this with Easter lilies. So Easter lilies are grown and refrigerated to force them to bloom earlier than what they normally would. If you take an Easter lily from Easter, let it die back and then plant the bulb, you'll notice that it won't bloom until early to midsummer. And that's because the Easter lily that you purchased, that bulb was refrigerated to force it to bloom earlier. All right, so I needed one more extra row, and once I get it planted, I'll go in and play around with the spacing a little bit. All right, and now I'm just going to take my mulch and get rid of the weeds that are in it <laughs> and just kind of cover this area back up. So the last thing that I did is I went and collected this old okra stalk from last year. Um, it was laying over there in a pile that I'm getting ready to burn in a few weeks. Uh, but I just broke off this piece, kind of cleaned it up, and I'm going to use it as a row marker. So I'm just going to jab it down in right here. And that way I know where my last row of garlic is. And from here over, I'm going to plant onion sets. So that'll be a little bit later in March. So I didn't even bother like tilling up and cleaning up the other end of this bed. I'll get it a little bit later this spring. As always, for this and other great information, visit us online at bobsmarket.com. All right, so that is my gamble on garlic. Will we get enough cold days to trigger vernalization? I'm not sure. Either way, I'll get some yummy garlic out of it. And here's the secret. When it comes to planting garlic, you can go to the store and buy garlic. So that was heads of garlic, um, you know, entire garlic uh, bulbs with the cloves. I purchased those at the grocery store and then separated them out. And um, you want to make sure that they haven't been treated with anything to keep them from sprouting. Sometimes places do that. Uh, these were already starting to sprout a little bit when I bought them. And I got like a super good deal on them. So all of those cloves that I ended up planting, I think were around a buck fifty. So yeah, insanely good deal on them. Um, up next, I'm going to be planting my onion sets. So in this week's show notes, if you head over to uh, the page on our website at bobsmarket.com, I think it's slash live. Um, for, uh, for the notes on Bob's Live. Um, you can also find it down on the homepage. 
Um, I've included links to both a blog post on growing garlic and also a blog post on planting onion sets. Um, I enjoy growing both because I use a ton of garlic and onions when I cook and my wife she loves green onions on salads so most of my onions end up getting pulled before they ever form bulbs but you know I'm gonna have a whole bed full of onions this year. Um, with the weather changing I mean it has been nuts lately. Uh, we know Puxatawney Phil was definitely wrong. Our own French Creek Freddy, he was right. Because it seems like we're having an early spring. Uh, but with that, I thought I would bring back looking at the weather forecast. So I know right now we're only doing Bob's Live every other week. But nevertheless, I thought we would take a look at the forecast, at least for the next few days. So, right now, um, it is 55 and sunny, and we're looking at pretty sunny weather for the next couple days. So, uh, tomorrow definitely looks like the warmest day if you want to get out and do some early kind of spring gardening like I've been doing. Um, depending on your soil, this time of year, you want to make sure that your soil is not too wet. Um, you want to kind of dig around in it and make sure that, that it's tillable. Uh, my raised beds right now, they're okay to dig around in, like the soil is not too wet. But over in my garden bed, it's still way too wet to work in right now. Um, I think it's okay to walk in. It's not too bad, but yeah, it, it tends to stay a little bit wetter, a little bit longer where it's not raised up. Um, but yeah, uh, Thursday, it's going to cool off a little bit. Friday, we're looking at some thunderstorms. So uh, that's, that's kind of crazy for this time of year. And um, yeah, we actually had some lightning last night that I've seen. Um, and then we're going to cool off heading back into the weekend, but it looks like we're actually going to warm up uh, going back into Sunday. And, oh, i got to find my mouse here. If we jump ahead to next week, it looks like we're going to warm back up early next week and then kind of cool back off again. So, yeah, kind of crazy weather for this time of year. And, uh, well, that is all that I have for this week's episode of Bob's Live. Something I forgot to mention, and we'll jump back to the weather page. Um, on our weather center right here, I have the Uncle Jim's Almanac Weather Center. And we used to have a section on our website, Uncle Jim's Almanac. And, unfortunately, we were using some almanac data from a company we got permission to use it you know and then you know over time people at companies change out and they contact us and said basically um we don't want you using our information anymore so that being said i think i found another source of information for our almanac section so it might be making a return on the website and also it's going to be more localized to our area um, it's actually through the uh, West Virginia Extension office so yeah so look for the, uh, the almanac to possibly be making a return um, Anyhow, that is all that I have for this week. I don't see any questions or anything like that in the comments. So, um, this coming up week, we're going to be having our next episode of the Keep Growing Podcast. And since it's Green Career Week, we're going to be talking about green careers on the podcast. 
And uh, we're going to be using a segment that was actually on an earlier episode of Bob's Live back in October. Um, so you can go back and watch that episode. We're going to be adding to that a little bit and talking about green careers. So I'll see you back here live a week after next. So until then, keep growing.